covid affected more than two thirds of indian population two third is a big number if you look at it but the i am taking this data from the zero surveillance studies in the absolute numbers wise the numbers may look very small but when you look at the population survey it's almost 60 to 70 percent of the population surveyed have got antibodies meaning to say that it has affected reasonable number and diabetes and pre-diabetes the forerunner of the diabetes are seen in more than 10 percent of the population per se so it's a huge chunk of population have diabetes and pre-diabetes and the, the biggest comorbidity which was seen associated with increasing mortality is the diabetes in all patients with covid and about 20 to 50 percent of patients with covid have diabetes and we all know that good glycemic control improves the outcomes so you should have the best possible control and there are multiple options available in the control and these are the things what you need to uh, use judiciously whenever you want to uh, have a good glycemic control possibly a team approach is most important at this point of time for managing these patients so that is why it is important to know that you have to have a better glucose control all throughout the COVID before, during and after admission into the ward. Coming to the one of the first physiological links between the two, the receptor for COVID is the S receptor. The S spike is the one which helps in the virus gaining entry into the cells. And the receptor for it is what is known as the ACE2. That is the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor. So this receptor is present on the cells and the COVID virus, the S protein binds to this and hyperglycemia actually upregulates this ACE2. So what it means is if you have a higher glucose values, more number of ACE2 receptors are there on the cell surface and this will help gain more amount of viral load into the body. So this is an important link between the two. The other important place where ACE2 upregulation affects the diabetes is in the pancreatic beta cells. Most of you know that the insulin is produced from the beta cells of the pancreas. So you have upregulation of ACE2 in the pancreatic beta cells, which will increase the penetration of the virus into the beta cells. So there are a lot of new reports which have come about new onset diabetes after COVID infection and presence of severe insulin resistance after COVID infection. Some of the reports have come even to the vaccines also there is increase in these infections. So the binding to the beta cells binding to the tissues is helped by the ACE2 receptor which is upregulated by the hyperglycemia. The second receptor which is also useful for viral binding is DPP4 which is again I mean few years back that Middle East respiratory virus was that was an epidemic which was only restricted thankfully to few hundreds of patients. Uh, there the DPP4 was the first described as a functional receptor for the MERS virus and the same COVID virus also the DPP4 is again a receptor. The DPP4 inhibitors are a major stay of type 2 diabetes management where they increase the levels of native GLP-1 that is a glucagon-like peptide 1. So this will help in managing the diabetes. So DPP4 acts again as a precursor or a receptor for the virus to gain entry into the target cell which is regulated by the prevalent glucose level. So these two are the receptors which have some links with the how virus gains entry into the cells. The third, there is bi-directional link between the two. The first one, the COVID, in the management of COVID, we use a lot of steroids in some moderate to severe patients. Some of the reports have used antivirals. 
most the glucocorticoids and these antivirals increase the insulin resistance increase the uh, production of the insulin resistance in the body which will reduce the insulin and which will worsen the hyperglycemia the hypokalemia associated will also leads to insulin resistance so all of there is a direct beta cell damage so all these three things put together can have a worsening of diabetes worsening of glucose because of covid and diabetic is a state of poor immunity you have pro inflammatory cytokines use of as2 and as inhibitor some of them will affect how covid is spread covid is infected into the body so in a nutshell if you look at the links between the three they both are related very closely each perpetuating the another with a self perpetuating downward spiral as far as patient is concerned so that's most important to stop this and treat this aggressively